Hey guys, it's Brandon Locarin here with Keller Williams Realty, and today we're in Old Town Alexandria checking out the Torpedo Factory Art Center. Founded in 1974 from an old munitions plant, the Torpedo Factory Art Center is home to the nation's largest collection of working artists under one roof. Housed within the Torpedo Factory Art Center are 82 artists in an open concept floor plan. We had the opportunity to talk to a few of them, so come take a look as we gain some perspective in what it's like to be here at the Torpedo Factory Art Center. Hey there, um, my name's Allison Sigafee, and I'm an artist here at the Torpedo Factory. I do a lot of different things because I have a really short attention span. In the studio, I make glass sculptures that I call C-Course, and we'll talk about those. Uh, I also do a lot of public art and site-specific art. I just love things that move. So that's sort of a common thread that runs through my work. I don't want it just to sit there. It has to have a little bit more excitement going on. So I started playing with the idea of how can I make glass move? And at first it was just the bubbles inside the piece that moved. And then I wanted more. So I've started hanging and suspending some lighter glass pieces so they actually move with the bubbles. The thing that makes the Torpedo Factory so darn special is it's not just a place where you can go and see finished art. It, we're very much about the process. So every time you come, you'll see artists working on different things and you can ask questions and you can kind of be a part of it and see what's happening and how they make what they make and how that thought process works. And that's really fun. I've loved this place since I was a kid. I grew up in Springfield, so I came back down, you know, when it was, starting my parents loved art and encouraged art uh, so to actually be here now is is really a thrill it's a great community it's nice to be around other artists uh, i like being the part of the whole history of it uh, yeah it's awesome in every way my name is karen fitzgerald i work with everyday recycled materials breaking them down into color and shape and recomposing them into pieces on the wall um, the purpose behind it is to create conversation about all the stuff in our lives and what we care about and why. My focus, unlike um, many artists working in recycled materials where it's more of a found object idea, mine is really focused on everyday stuff, so junk mail and um, old clothing and discarded photographs and um, mail order catalogs and, you know, encyclopedias, books, everything, food packaging. So uh, a way of just bringing things that we see every day um, into a different light. Right now I'm working on a series of larger pieces out of um, encyclopedia. So really exploring how, how differently we share and think about information now than throughout our collective history and all the implications of that. So I uh, originally thought I was going to be a physics professor and then ended up with a degree in writing. So I found my way through this to this um, kind of a backwards way. Um, but throughout, I think it was all driven by this desire to have this conversation, right, about what we care about and why. And um, I just had to find my means of doing that. And you don't open a guidebook and find what I do in it. So I kind of had to make it up as I went along. The factory is a wonderful place in the sense that people can come in and see you at work as well as see your work on display, um, which is a very unique feature of, of what we have here. Um, obviously for the artists, for me, that means that, I, um, that people have access to my work that I wouldn't necessarily meet otherwise, so that is, is a great aspect of being here, as well as the community of artists that we have. And, the history as well, so all of it is um, pretty special. Yeah. Well, my name is Matthew Harwood. I'm a resident artist at the Torpedo Factory. I've been here for uh, 35 years. Uh, the same year that I graduated from architecture school, I was accepted uh, through the jury process on work I did when I was in school and have been um, uh, evolving as an artist pretty much ever since. As a trained architect, uh, my struggle has been how do I represent 
uh, my technical training in the art form. How do I take the old, what they call architectural hand skills and explore them as an art form? So rendering, drafting, model making skills, what if you apply that to a landscape or a portrait or whatever, even prime numbers, how can you find new expressions with the old way of doing things? And in uh, playing with a portrait I was working on a few years ago, I uh, found these interesting three-dimensional patterns with prime numbers and their multiples and have been fascinated with ever since. And I like to tell people being an artist isn't a talent, it's a compulsive disorder. And I've been compulsing on this for about uh, three or four years now. And that's leading up for a show of my work in uh, the Art League, which is here at the Torpedo Factory in December. And I'm uh, uh, excited to uh, uh, evolve it as a, maybe even a traveling exhibition that will go around the country and start applying for grants based on it. Usually as an artist, you live a solitary life. You're in your studio and you play with your ideas and then you have your reception and then, uh, you know, that you can talk to the public then or have the pieces talk to them. But it's a little bit of a mystery often to the public how the creative process works. Here at the Torpedo Factory, we share the creative process. And as an artist here, it becomes part of your uh, design process talking to the public. So as I'm working on a problem, I'm sharing it with people and sometimes explaining in simple terms what I'm trying to do, it makes it easier for me to understand what I'm actually working on. And it uh, gives me all kinds of insights. And, uh, and I think that it's, uh, it's a uniqueness that isn't really uh, found in the world all that often, uh, this type of art that we do, here, we, uh, do at the Torpedo Factory. When the Torpedo Factory was formed uh, 40, what, 45 years ago, it was a, a desolate area. It was pretty much abandoned, a series of wharves, uh, it was all in decay. The building itself was uh, three blocks uh, left over from uh, torpedoes from World War I and World War II. It became a storage unit. It was, uh, pigeons had broken through, there was uh, 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 disarray all around. And as part of the bicentennial, the artists decided to uh, 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 clean it up and have it as an art center. It was only meant to be a temporary uh, uh, art center, but it became so popular that uh, people uh, uh, saw it as a potential long-term thing. And they did, they, they came in and uh, uh, developed it in the 1980s. It was renovated and we're still kicking today. It brought life to the, the waterfront, and as uh, there was a, a small area plan done in the 80s for, for uh, Alexandria, now there's another uh, uh, plan that's being implemented. Art is again being added into that, and it's become integral, not only history for Alexandria, but art and culture as well. So that's just a little insight from inside the gallery. The Torpedo Factory Art Center is a must-see on Alexandria's historic waterfront. Thank you for tuning in and see you guys next time on Around Town with Brandon Locarin.